This year marks 40 years of Straight from the Heart, and each month we're looking back at some of our favorite stories and storytellers from the past four decades, and that includes Ken Schwal, who came to Channel 10 from a local radio station and kept us informed and entertained for decades. John Becker has more. So what you ask is vinegar pie? This is vinegar pie. Whether he was bellying up to the table at an out-of-the-way restaurant, or sharing the uh, unique talents of true East Tennesseans, Ken Schwal knew how to find the humor in all of us. And to think, it all started because of a slow news day. It happened by accident. I was doing real news, and uh, but on, and on slow days, I would go out and find a feature to do, and, and, and I enjoyed that. One particular week back in 1995, uh, it was a slow week. So I ended up uh, doing stories like five days of, of features and, and put a little humorous twist. And, and people started to say, hey, we like that new funny stuff you're doing. And with that, Schwal's world was born. For 20 years, Ken gave us a slice of life in East Tennessee. Dominic is a typical two-year-old greyhound. The two-legged dog. <laughs> comes to mind. There was a dog and he was a greyhound as I recall and he had been hit by a car and lost two of his legs on the same side. So he had he had two legs and a, a back and a front and he he was fine as long as he kept moving but, but you know if he stopped he'd go over like that. Each year in the nativity pageant Buster plays the part of the faithful donkey. Another favorite was Buster the Donkey and his antics during the nativity pageant in Knoxville. Uh, every year uh, they would go get him out of a field up in uh, halls or, or someplace and every year he would run and they'd have to take a rope and <laughs> lasso him and pull him in and then, and then uh, yeah, take him to the nativity pageant. And sometimes he would, uh, you know, take off with <laughs> Mary <laughs> on the back just hanging on for dear life. Yeah, it was good. <laughs> One lady, uh, she was woman of the year, and she, she clucked. Like any good journalist, Schwa was nosy. You got a monkey wrench? <laughs> <laughs> no, I got a grease monkey. <laughs> and drilled down on the story. Unlike any good journalist, he rarely had a plan. So I would get in the car with people like Tim Dale and a photographer, and we would literally just drive around uh, until we came upon the, the, you know, they called it driving Miss Daisy. Uh, but but uh, usually we were, uh, we were uh, fortunate to, to find something. One of Ken's favorite characters was in Alcoa. In the food business, of course. Metro Pizza. And it was uh, started by a guy named Salvatore Baccia. He was from Italy, and he was hilarious. He was great. And, and he sang, and he, he, he was funny. And, I mean, things like that are just a gift when you find somebody like Salvatore Baccia. So how did Ken manage to turn the tables on the subjects to make them memorable? I think... The key is putting people at ease. First of all, finding a situation and finding, and there's, there's humor in just about every situation. Even though he's retired for years now, Ken still manages to find the humor in every situation, even when he sits down on the other side of the camera. Here was the goal. Uh, they put us on last on the show for a reason. Because our goal, my task, was to cheer people up after we have depressed them with the news and sometimes the weather and sometimes the sports. Say goodnight, Toby. Bye-bye. So classic.
That's why I'm wearing all black in honor of Ken. <laughs> in honor of them. <laughs> My favorite Ken yeah. story was one we should replay every Christmas. The Griswolds going oh, to yes. hunt for yes. a Christmas tree. That's that was it. such a classic. It just was akin to the Christmas Vacation, the movie. Yeah. And Ken nailed it with the characters. Yeah, yeah, he and did. That was the key of every story, right? He kind of talked about a it. Master. He was yeah. the master at letting your average Joe person shine mm -hmm. and become a star. He knew how to find people and bring out what was special about them, whatever it might be. Yeah, and absolutely. that is amazing. Yeah. And we have uh, w one of his first stories in yeah. Channel 10. As Take well. a look. Yeah, William Winnett, our digital storyteller, found this. This is actually Ken Schwal's first ever story. There he is in red. Here. <laughs> 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 this was, by the way, the 1979 Knoxville Comics Convention. Oh, my God! Wait, are we seeing Schwal? We may. Well, we're, this is just the story he went to a few years ago. Just a few. Yeah. Ro Robin tells a great story, though, yeah. about Ken just being a hard-nosed journalist. We touched on it in that story that mm -hmm. Leanne produced, uh, one of yeah. our producers. But he was a consummate journalist. Yes, yes. He used to be news director here at Channel 2. Mm -hmm. Think about that for a little bit. Mm -hmm. But he brightened up our day. Mm -hmm. And Ken is a wonderful gentleman. He did brighten up our day. Every newscast into a Ken. And, and Swall's world, and positively Swall, but uh, he certainly cheered all of us up. He's got a beautiful bride, too. Yes. Marina. Yes. <laughs> we thank you and appreciate you. Yes. <laughs> She's been through a lot over the years. <laughs> all right. Thanks so much, guys, for joining us for that and sharing that yeah, story.